just ripped off your skin. I know, is SRK under here? What? <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter. 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 I don't know. I don't know what this is. Read, oh, okay. read all this. Let's see. It says Guru Gobind Singh to Jayanti. Okay, so it's a guru. It's something we're gonna learn something here. Second of January. Okay, second of January. Uh, it's a Sikh festival. Okay, that commemorates the birthday of Guru Gobind Singh Ji, the tenth Guru of the Sikhs. Okay. And so read all. The fi it's a film. So yes. this is a trailer? It's going to be a trailer, yes. A trailer to a film about this. The film depicts the Battle of Anandpur in 1700 in which Mughal General uh, Pandi Khan was killed by Guru Gobind Singh. The film also depicts the Battle of Shamkar, which took place in December 1704 Common Era, in which 42 Sikhs under Guru Gobind Singh fought bravely against 10 lakh Mughal forces under Wazir Khan. In the Battle of Chamkar, both the elder sons of Guru Gobind Singh, Sahib Zada Ajit Singh, 18 years old, and Sabit Zada Jujar Singh, 14 years old, were martyred. Hmm. The Mughals were in large number, but still they failed to capture Guru Gobind Singh and hence six defeated Mughals. The younger sons of Guru Gobind Singh, who, oh, th those sons were nine and seven, were taken to Wazir Khan's palace and were cruelly and inhumanely executed by the Mughal ruler of Sir Hind. Wazir Khan gave orders that masons were to brick the guru's youngest sons into a section of the city's wall. Good grief. Like, wow. Well, that, well, that's intense. Talk about putting your conquered ones on display. Jeez. That's, wow. Well, one thing we know, what we've learned, is that if this is gonna depict something about the sick, it's, it's gonna be... I think it's animated. Really? I think so. Let's say the name for me one more time. Char Sahibzadeh Trailer. Here we go. Hope I pronounced that close enough for hand grenades. Oh. 
Computer animated. It, yeah. it reminded me a lot of um, what was that film in the nineties with the Egyptians, Prince of Egypt. Thank you. Uh, not story wise, but no, you just meant the animation wise. Similar, not that was partly computer. It was a blend. It was a blend of uh, regular animation and computer animation. Uh, I think Shrek was the one that was fully computer animated. I believe, mm -hmm. um, and so which was interesting because. Obviously, I, I asked a while back on Twitter, does India, because we hadn't reacted to I remember to that. India. I was like, Great. does India have any animated films? Animated films? They said, no, they don't really make a lot. Mm. Uh, because a lot of people, Like Christmas movies. We talked about it either. A lot of people <laughs> lot of also associate movies. in India uh, animation with children's. Right. Which is not really a thing. Like, adults will happily go see an animated film. Absolutely. Uh, and But there's... People don't throw a lot of money at it like they do here. No. Like, you know, yeah, Pixar, well, it's, Disney, it's and huge DreamWorks, you know. And it's like, those are multi-million, hundred million dollar films. Right. That are made for... That are animated. Kids. Yep. Uh, so that's, it's so interesting. Obviously, the, the, um, the animation is a little old school computer animation. Correct. Uh, so that, that... But it was interesting. Which looks like was... it's a choice. It doesn't look like it was a technological disadvantage. It looked like they actually thematically and stylistically said we want it to look like this. Which was interesting because it, normally that would totally take me out of it. Me too. But it didn't. It, I totally <laughs> agree with you. I was like, I could watch. The score helped. The, t the score helped. The score was fantastic. And the voice acting was extremely good. Mm -hmm. it, it, it just... It really drew me into I could absolutely see myself watching that and learning about this history uh, voiced though it isn't I agree the animation in and of itself wasn't something that drew me no, to it no at all if uh, anything if that kind of animation I would not be attracted to well yeah I mean it, coming from a, a, a westerner who's right you know you see Toy Story go from yeah. what it was right to what it is now right exactly it's, and what they're doing with animation now it's just incredible correct but that's why it, it, it was really impressive and also I Disney in their whole thing right now of wanting to do different stories of different people mm -hmm. you know they're trying to come up with you know people from every race so everybody can see themselves represented on screen about time they need to do a, a, a sick Man. Uh, uh, film. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because yeah. I think they just did a short of, uh, was it a Hindu one? Was it a, no, what, what religion was it? Oh, the, the, the little short with the, the father and the son and the, he was a superhero. Was it Hindu? Yeah, it was, I think it was nominated for an Oscar just a few years ago. Somebody did, uh, a short animated film with, uh, I think it was Pixar, honestly. Um, the little kid, he, he saw the Hindu gods as superheroes. Oh, I Do didn't you remember see that, that. No. Um, it was a couple years back, but um, I I would be interested in one people in America being introduced to the Sikh religion mm -hmm. and knowing their ancestry mm -hmm. of how much of much of a warrior they are. Yeah, because you we I can you can probably uh, poll hundred people and one might know that if that they, that they were. Um, one, what the Sikhs are, right, uh, or that they have such a warrior ancestry Correct. behind them. Yep. Um, but it was really interesting. The score was great. The Ompori is apparently a uh, oh a wow voice, a voice of uh, one of the people. Huh. Uh, yeah. The voice acting with everybody was really strong. As was the writing. Some of those lines were really really good. Yeah. And so I think that's what added to it. And so it'd be interesting if it was a, a choice to make it look a little 
more fully computer animated. It's got to be. Look, the year's 2014. That was absolutely a choice. But also, in order to make it look like Disney does, you need to throw millions a lot of money. and millions it's and true. millions of dollars it's at true. it. It's true. Because it takes time. It's true. It takes a lot and, te- and a lot of a talented, lot of talented artists. artists with the with the technology and, and the money to spend on it. And so, obviously, I'm sure they didn't have that money to spend on it. Um, and also, they don't know the audience. Because Who was the production company behind it? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. interesting. White White Hill production. Very very interesting. Well, this is a festival as well, though that we were telling us, right? It was the. Um... Yeah, that it commemorates the birthday of Guru Gobind Singh, and it is a yeah. There was something there I thought about. Yeah, it's a yeah. festival. It's a Sikh uh-huh. festival commemorating the birthday of. Uh, so, if any of you are celebrating out there, one, let us know how this is. Yeah, are there other animated films that are worth reacting to? Please, even uh, short films, animated yeah. short films. We uh, love those. Let us know, and uh, happy, I don't know what you call the festival. Right, whatever the festival is for you guys. I hope, hope it's everything hope you're it's fun wanting it to be. And uh, happy. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Enjoy. Happy enjoy. <laughs>